pants is no matter how expensive they are, yung aligned pants, sorry, for benchmark lang yung aligned pants. Oh, hello, over there. Hey guys, what's up? It's Yunus and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, a little story time. So my friend told me about this shop on Shopee and how it has nice workout clothes now or athletic wear. And I was like, sige nga, try natin yan. Kasi nung nakita ko, ang mura talaga yan. And then I tested it out sa cart. Kunyari, um, I chose the stuff that I like. Tapos I added it all to cart. And I was like so shocked with my total bill because it only equated to one Lululemon yoga leggings. That's insane. So I was like, Sige nga, bilhin natin. But, I was also hesitant. Tapos, binili ng friend ko kasi she's in the Philippines and as you guys know, I'm in the US nga. So, medyo mahirap, di ba? Paano, paano kung hindi ko pala nagustuhan? Ang dami ko nang binili. Tapos, nagbayad pa ako ng extra shipping. So, binili niya muna. Tapos, she sent me photos. Tapos, okay naman daw. So, I bit the bullet. I bit the bullet. I jumped the bullet. I jumped the gun. Basta, binili ko siya. <laughs> binili ko siya lahat. And then, here we are. A try-on haul. I just wanna do a quick benchmark on the leggings that I'll be not really comparing, but like yung basis ko for my review. So, these are Lululemon and Alo Yoga leggings. And I know yung price point nito, napakalayo. Pero for me, kasi ever since I've tried Lululemon and Alo Yoga, sobrang na-inlove ako. And hindi pa ako nakakahanap ng ibang legging brand or ibang, or ibang activewear brand. Naka sing ganda ng quality nito. So, first is this Lululemon Speed. I think parang similar to, to their Wonder Under compression leggings. So, like I said, ito nga yung compression nila na product and yung Wonder Under, yung fiber content non is is 69% nylon and syempre nagmata ko sa mind ko, no? 31% lycra spandex. So, ito yun. What I love about this is, hindi siya super stretchy, pero comfortable siya. It doesn't restrict my movement, ganyan. Pero, it keeps everything in place. When I see, when I say it keeps everything in place, yung mga flaps ko, kasi hindi naman ako yung pinaka-fit or toned na person, eh. So, may mga, may mga areas sa body ko na medyo flabby talaga. Pero, pag suot ko to, parang, mas toned lang yung itsura niya. Tapos, I love the fact that it has pockets. So, perfect siya for running, ganyan. Tapos, hindi rin siya nakaka-camel toe, which is a plus. And then, meron din siyang zip back pocket right here. So, this one alone, it retails for $125. Pero, so, mga 6,500 pesos for a pair of leggings. I know, sobrang mahal niya. And, matagal kong pinag-isipan at pinag-ipunan tong leggings nito. Ito yung first Lululemon purchase ko last, I think, two years ago na. Yeah, two years ago na. And, sobrang ganda pa rin ang quality niya. It's like, it's good as brand new. Hindi siya na wear out or hindi siya na ubers na like totally stretch out. And ang ganda ng quality tito because hindi rin nakikita yung underwear ko. It's squat proof ganyan. So for me, sobrang worth it siya because in that la in that two years, hindi ko siya kailangan palitan. So not only am I saving money by not repurchasing a new product, but also like kind of minimizing my environmental impact. Not like carbon footprint or something like that because hindi ako nag yan. That's what I think makes it um, premium because yung lifespan niya nga tumatagal. Not only is maganda yung fit niya, pero good quality rin siya na tumatagal siya sa owner. And I've seen a lot of other people na mga 5 years na ito pa rin yung leggings nila. It's not the most affordable pair of leggings and kailangan mo ba talaga ng 6,500 pesos na leggings? Siguro hindi. Pero kung may pang spare ka, why not, di ba? Tapos, ito yung second na leggings, also from Lululemon. This is their Align Pants naman. So, yung leggings na to, mas more on ano siya, pang yoga, pang athleisure, pang lounge around, ganyan. Kasi yung, yung nylon count nito, mas mataas. I think this is 18, 85%. Na, let me look at my notes. Okay, so it's 86% nylon and 14% spandex naman. So, mas mataas yung nylon count nito. Pero, mas manipis din yung material nito. So, like I said, perfect siya pang lounge around. Super comfortable. Ito yung buttery soft na feeling sa skin nyo. And I've had this one for about a year naman na now. And maganda pa rin siya. I love it for mga low-intensity workouts. Last but not the least, ito naman is not this one. So, this one naman is from Alo Yoga. It's their 7-8 legging. Um, natanggal ko na yung tag nito, pero inside out pala. Natanggal ko na yung tag nito, pero love ko rin to because it's similar to the Align Pants, pero it's a little bit thicker. Um, hindi siya as, hindi siya as lightweight as the Align Pants, which 
I like this for mga yoga sculpt, ganyan, because yoga sculpt may onting cardio, pero most of the time naman, may onting cardio, so mas maganda yung, not yung quality, mas less, yung, mas, mas moisture wicking, yeah. Mas moisture wicking to kaysa sa aligned pad. So yun, ito yung three na favorite ko. I've had this for a while now, and yung isang masasabi ko lang about these three leggings is, no matter how expensive these are, they really hold and it feels like brand new every time I wear them. So, kaya ko sila binibili. Since sabi nga nung friend ko, okay yung quality nung tinry niya. Sabi ko, sige, curious ako. Kasi madami din naman ako nakikita like sa Amazon, sa TikTok, na mga tao nagsasabi yung mga um, legging dupes daw ng Lululemon. So, a lot of the other Lululemon dupes are straight up Lululemon counterfeits. As in, meron silang Lululemon na logo and I'm not one, I mean, I'm not gonna say na I've never purchased a counterfeit item but now that I know more about like where these counterfeits are from, now I know more about like trademarks, patents, and all that jazz, I try to veer away from these products because I feel like I'm taking away not only, not only money from the corporation that owns it but the person who actually designed that product. So, ayun, nung nakita ko to, it doesn't say anything about being a Lululemon dupe. It doesn't say, it doesn't have like a Lululemon like logo. Wala at all. And parang yung design nila, it's their own. Hindi, naman, hindi siya like straight up. Like the sports bras. Siguro may similarities, pero hindi siya straight up like counterfeit item. So that's why I tried it. So I got everything from a Shopee store. The name is Moving Peach and I'll put the prices lang right here every time I talk about a new set. So I got three out of the four sets that are available, tapos a couple of sports bras. So the first set that we are going to be talking about is this one. So this is the Moving Peach sports set, sports set, sports bra, and yoga pants. So this is what it looks like and like I said, I'll be trying this on. I got it in the color brown which is so much prettier in person. It looks like a dark peach color in my opinion. Parang magandang neutral color siya. And nung nakita, nung nakita ko brown sa option, sabi ko parang hindi naman brown yan. Tapos I tried it out lang kasi nung una yung gusto ko caramel sa ibang style pero out of stock na. So nakita ko to, sabi ko parang gusto ko ng ibang color naman. Tsaka para ma-review talaga natin, pumili ako ng light and dark colors para alam natin. Ito yung sports brand niya. So medyo V siya. So if bustier kayo, like some stats lang, I'm 5'2", I'm 128 pounds, and yung breast size ko or chest size ko is 32D. 32D. No, 32C. Sobrang laka naman yung D. 32C. Okay, or 34B. 32C or 34B yung bra size ko. Tapos, pag sinusuot ko to, medyo, pag may pads, hindi siya tasteful kasi sobrang laka ng boobs ko. Kasi parang ako nakapush up bra. Medyo may push yung pads nila. So, tinatanggal ko yung pads and okay naman siya. Hindi naman nag bumabakat yung nipples ko or anything like that. And I love it because it gives me enough support. I used this last week na for running. I ran a mile and hindi sumakit yung boobs ko. As in, may support talaga siya. And for someone who has quite a, lar a larger chest, in my opinion, important sa akin na maganda yung support ng sports bra. So, okay din siya pang jogging. So, you can definitely wear it alone for jogging. And then, you can wear the set then for yoga. I did, um, I did the Chloe thing, I think intense core challenge using these. I did three videos and yung masasabi ko lang sa kanya, nagli-leave siya ng water marks dun, or like sweat marks dun sa sports bra pero sa pants hindi. And I've experienced dun sa Align yoga pants ng Lululemon, meron na nagkaroon ako ng sweat mark diyan pero this one yung yoga pants niya, hindi ako nagkaroon ng sweat mark, just the um just the top. So it's good overall and I love the fact na super high-waisted niya tapos yung top niya din mas may coverage siya. Hindi siya super bra lang. Parang midriff yung type niya and hindi nag-roll down yung leggings. So a lot of times if high-waisted yung leggings mo tapos manipis yung gawa ng band, nag-roll down siya which is annoying especially when you're in a workout tapos pinupul-pul-pul up mo ganyan. And then yung sports bra like I said maganda. And then yung sports and then yung sports bra, like I said, maganda nga yung support niya. Tapos, also, something to note, yung pants na to, meron siyang back pocket. So, it's perfect for, it will fit an iPhone. So, kunyari, nag-run kayo, pwede nyo ilagay dyan yung phone nyo, ta para hands-free kayo, and mas comfortable yung run nyo. So, overall, maganda for me, and highly recommend this set. It also, 
for someone who's only 5'2", so a lot of times when I buy pants, kailangan ko petite, ganyan. When I buy leggings, kailangan ko yung 7, 8 na cut, which is the shorter cut, para hindi siya nagpo-fold sa dulo ng ankles ko, kasi medyo maiksi nga yung legs ko. And surprisingly, ito wala siyang ganun, wala siyang end seam length or anything, and sakto yung length niya sa akin. So I really, really love that. So in terms of fiber content, ang fiber content nito is... Sorry, na sa tag eh. 87% nylon and 13% spandex. So in comparison with the Lululemon Align Pants, yung Lululemon Align Pants is 86% nylon and 14% lycra spandex. So if you guys don't know, lycra spandex is a branded, um, a branded yarn. So Lululemon actually pays for that para magamit nila yun and they can call it out on their products, ganyan. Tapos, Another thing to note, bakit hindi kaya gawin ng brand na to na saktong 86% nylon and 14% spandex. That's because Lululemon patented their fiber content. Um, they call it, I think, the Nulu fabric. I think they have Nulu, Luwon, Everlox. They have a lot and they patented it. Trademark and patented, if I remember correctly. Kaya, a lot of the dupes siguro yung fiber content nila mag yung mixture of fiber yung mixture of fibers nila off siya ng by 1%, 2% ganyan kasi hindi nila pwedeng gawin yun or else counterfeit item or they're infringing Lululemon. Okay, so the next set is Moving Peach Women's Sportswear Fitness Tank Top and Compression Pants. So I accidentally bought two of these so I gave one to my sister tapos syempre kinip ko na yung isa sa akin. So these are their compression pants and yung fiber content naman nito is 75% is nylon and 25% spandex. So ito naman yung similar dun sa speed tight nila. So mas may compression siya, ganyan. So since mas mababa yung spandex count nito, so a little bit ba of background lang yung Spandex, yun yung nag-help sa product na may naglulunang doon. A little bit of information, yung spandex is yung nag-help dun sa product na mag-stretch tapos mag-retract para hindi siya mag, how do I say this? Alam mo yung pag na-stretch siya tapos magiging ganun na lang. Like, kunyari, cotton t-shirt, di ba? Pag sinretch mo ng ganyan yan, hindi siya babalik sa dati niyang form. Yung spandex, yung nakakatulong na bumalik siya sa dati niyang form. A lot of these leggings, sports bras, socks, uh, what else? Underwear, yan. May spandex yan. Anything that, you know, anything that's meant to be like fitted sa body mo or like feel like second skin, kailangan ng spandex para mag-retract siya and mas maganda yung fit niya sa kung saan man. So yung nylon naman is yun yung nagbibigay. Sana pala ito yung inuna ko na. Yung nylon naman yun yung nagbibigay ng shiny feel. So a lot of activewear products are made of nylon kasi yun yung mas shiny sa polyester. It's also softer than polyester. Um, they're both synthetic fa fabrics though, pero for something like activewear na pinapawisan ka, you want nylon kasi mas nag-moisture wicking siya. Which means... My dad's calling. Dad? So, my neighbor just decided to mow their lawn. Okay, next stop na. Yay! Okay, back to this. So, oh my god. Mo ba yun? Hindi nagli leaf blower yata siya. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that first. So I keep getting interrupted. But anyhow, back to the leggings. So I sorry, sports bra. What I was saying na is, yung problem ko lang dito. Medyo nagro roll yung bottom ng sports bra. I don't know if malaki yung chan ko ng day na yon. Pero napansin ko lang kasi yun na eh, usually pag mas malaki yung chan ko or like nabusog ako the night, the night before, nagro roll yung top ng mga crop tops ko, sports bras, ganyan, or even my normal bra pag makapal yung band because nga may flaps and I mean, I think that's all only natural. But overall, it's very comfortable. Like I said, perfect siya for this is the this is the set you'll need if mas mahili kayo sa high intensity interval training, sa mga jogging or running outside. Ganyan mas ito compared dun sa unang set because ito nga yung may compression. Mas pang performance yung material nito compared dun sa nauna. Yung sa nauna mas for light workout siya like yoga, yung mga hindi ka masyadong, like, nagbo-move ka pero hindi ka, like, how do I say this? Hindi siya high intensity interval training. Something like that. Or, kunyari, gusto mo lang talaga mag-active wear for, like, running errands, ganun. Pang ganun yung isa na kanina. So, this one naman is similar to the first set that I bought, like with the, it has the same fiber content, it has the same structure. Something pala that I didn't, I wasn't able to mention a while ago was I didn't like the fact na yung unang set and this one has like an, a seam in the middle. So, nasa may crotch area, crotch? Yeah, nasa may crotch area siya and I don't like that. Mas gusto ko yung parang seamless, which is this compression pants, yung harap niya, wala. Like sa may butt, meron, may seam siya. And may seam siya sa butt, 
Pero sa harap, wala at all. And hindi siya nakakakamal to, guys. So, love it. And I all I got everything pala in a size medium. Nakalimutan ko na naman sabihin. I got everything in a size medium because when it comes to active wear, gusto ko mas fitted siya sa akin. Feeling ko, if I got large, maluwag siya. And ayoko yung nagpa-fold-fold yung leggings. Sobrang pet peeve ko yun. Kasi ibig sabihin, hindi maganda yung fit. Tapos, I also read the reviews and a lot of the reviews, yung mga halos in the same weight range ko is medium yung kinuha, ni kinuha nila and okay naman. Anyway, going back to this leggings. So, similar siya sa, sa naunang set. Pero ito, wala siyang back pocket. Like, yung unang set may back pocket, ba So, mas gusto ko yun. Tapos, same ng legging design niya. May onting stitching siya on the side. Tapos, yung bra niya, ito naman, mas straight cut. Wala siyang pa-V. Yung unang set is pa-V siya. Ito, straight up yung bra niya. Which I really don't mind. Um, it's just your normal na bra type. Pero, medyo, pero for this one, tatanggalin ko din yung padding. Kasi, since exposed yung upper part ng chest ko, mas na-accentuate yung boobs ko. And, ayoko nun. Kasi, hindi siya, masa, hindi siya masyadong tasteful tignan. So, nothing, that, nothing much to say about this. Because, like I said, it's the same fiber content as the first one so medyo same siya but lighter yung color niya and I do have to say na hindi ito squat proof. Medyo makikita mo yung underwear mo and with these type of leggings you need to wear like seamless underwear tapos kung colored yung underwear mo under this makikita yun pero kunyari nude lang yung underwear mo tapos seamless hindi siya makikita so you do have to wear the right underwear under these type of leggings. Ito na yung last pair of leggings ko. Hindi to set kasi walang, walang design na Walang set version ng design na to. And I love it because parang meron lang siyang naka-overlap na fabric sa harap. Ayan, parang pa-V. Parang maganda siya kasi nagkakakaroon ka ng shape. Ganyan, para lang maiba instead of yung usual na straight cut. Tapos yung sides niya may um, onting design din yung pagka-stitch. Parang, I don't, not sure if you guys can see that. Tapos this one naman, for me, mas more of pang lounge around the house to. Cute lang, ganyan. Same fiber content din siya, if I'm not mistaken. Size medium. Yeah, I think this is the same fiber content then as the brown and the light blue set that I have, which is 87% nylon, 13% spandex. Kaso, the problem is, ito pala yung rip off sa Lululemon. <laughs> when I was doing my research, nakita ko, hindi ko kasi to nakikita pa sa Lululemon, okay? Pero nung nag-research ako about Lululemon trademarks and patent, sinu pala nila si Calvin Klein for having this exact same design, which is yung naka-overlap na ganyan. Which I think is very common sa ibang leggings. I'm not sure if nauna talaga si Lululemon. But anyway, yun lang. Meron palang style na ganito si Lululemon. Pero I kind of like it. Um, I feel like it's not the most flattering for my body type, but I'm someone who already has a ton of other black leggings. So I just wanted another black leggings, pero something different. And overall, maganda to. Kasi this one is squat proof since it's very dark. So a lot of the mga darker colors are squat proof. Pero yung light blue lang na color yung medyo kailangan mindful ka dun sa underwear na suot mo. So yeah, overall okay din naman siya. Like I said, same fiber content as the first two. So this is meant for lighter workouts and not really like running outside. Tapos ayun lang din, meron lang din siyang seam sa gitna, like sa may crotch area which I don't like pero I don't mind. Pero siguro kung bibili ulit ako, ang bibiliin ko lang yung set na yung second set na bibili ko which is the compression set kasi nga gusto ko yung walang seam. So I got, just got this sports bra. I haven't really tried this out pero ang cute lang niya for lighter workouts like yoga, ganyan. So, it's just your plain spaghetti strap na sports bra. Tapos yung back niya, ayan, V-cut na low back. So, I really like this and I love the color as well. Like, this is close to like how Lululemon sports bras look like. Especially their mga yoga sports bras. But the only thing I don't like about this is meron din siyang seam down the middle which I think is an eyesore. Pero, hindi ko siya napansin when I was buying it. So, this one naman is 90% nylon and 10% spandex. I wouldn't really rec- I didn't buy this for working out. I bought this simply just for lounging around or for like, for example, itong bra na to. So, Anong ba? Hindi ko alam ko anong una kong sasabihin. Sobrang dami kong gusto sabihin. Hindi ko alam kung sasabihin. I bought this kasi ang cute ng back niya. Ayan, parang crisscross siya na effect. Tapos yung pagka midriff niya, maganda. Kasi it covers a lot of skin. So I thought it would be cute like with high-waisted shorts. Tapos naka-jacket ka. Like, hindi ito lang yung susotin mo sa labas ha. Or kung gusto mo ito lang yung susotin mo sa loob lang ng bahay. Kasi nga nung isang araw, kasi sobrang init ngayon. Minsan gusto ko, naka-sports bra lang, init. Pero it covers a lot of skin. So, tasteful naman siya. Yun nga lang, medyo yung 
sa may chest area niya, medyo low. So, if you're bustier, um, if you're close to my bra size, medyo lalabas or mag-hello sila ng onte. <laughs> so, I got this in three colors kasi super inexpensive lang niya. I think 387 pesos lang siya. And like I said, super inexpensive lang niya. I think it's 387 pesos. And for something that you can wear either for lounging around, yoga, or maybe going out if you want to, I treat these as bralettes and they're really comfy and soft. So, I got it in black, baby pink, and red. So yeah, that is actually everything that I bought from Shopee. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchases. I only ended up spending 6,500 pesos for everything, which is equivalent to one pair of yoga leggings on Lululemon. But I did have to pay for shipping because I had it shipped from Manila to here in the US, which is like 3,300 pesos, which I still don't mind because that 3,300 pesos could just be another sportswear from Lululemon. So it's more pa rin siya. I really enjoyed shopping sa Shopee. And now that I know na pwede pala akong magpadala through U UPS. So if you guys are also watching from like a different country, ganyan, tapos UPS delivers. I think it took it, like since my mom dropped it off sa UPS or Air 21 yata in the Philippines, it took like three to five days lang at tas andito na siya sobrang bilis so, so overall i paid like almost 10,000 pesos for all this which isn't really that bad like i know at this time why am i spending this much but this is just for like this haul and i've been trying to work out every morning na din because like i said i'm doing Chloe thing ganyan so i needed more um active wear then and on top of that if i bought this here it would be far more i'll be spending far more than what i did yung similar yung fit niya sa lululemon the way it looks the way it feels and like i said nagamit ko na siya for working out and i love it nalabhan ko na din lahat to it still feel, feels the same the only thing is i haven't had these for two years whereas my lululemon and aloe yoga pants i've had this for two years or over a year and there's they still held up their quality so i do have to like keep using this and keep trying it before i can say na yung quality niya is as good but but overall, I think it's worth it and I think the price is just right. I wouldn't pay more for it. But yeah, I think another part of this is just take care of your things because it really helps with the longevity of your items. Like these Lululemon leggings, I never dried them. I never put them in the dryer. Yes, I put them in the wash, pero making sure lang na when I'm washing something that's dark, it's inside out. I wash it in a cold cycle because a lot of these, they have tags and it has like wash instructions in them. If you guys are too familiar with the wash instructions icons does like there's machine wash pag the dryer niya siya tumble dry low ganyan a lot of these i hang dry kasi nga they're worth so much i want to preserve them and keep them forever for as long as i could not not forever for as long as i could so i really hand not hand wash but i put it in a cold cycle para fina follow ko talaga yung wash instructions and Needless to say, two years na yung leggings ko it still feels like brand new yeah no iron din siya so um so, sa tags niya, ayan yung wash instruction. So, bawal din siya i-iron, ganyan. So, follow that lang. And I'm sure na mas tatagal sa inyo yung pieces niyo. So, yeah, that is everything that I have to say regarding these products from the store Moving Peach on Shopee. If you guys want any of these items, I'll link everything in the description box in order. Kung ano yung una ko na-mention, yun yung una kong ilalagay doon. And I'll put the color din para mas madali. Kaya ako, iba-iba yung color na binili ko. Kasi napansin ko, sabi ko, lahat ng titles nila, halos pa I hope parang puro sports set. So, ayun. <laughs> Yun alam ko na sasabihin ko. Anyway, don't forget to take a break once in a while. Go work out if you want to or lounge around or watch Netflix in these yoga or active wear. But yeah, that is all I have to say in this video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!